tan 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 natural science class with teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about simple machines and the different types: lever, wedge, pulley, screw, wheel and axle, and inclined plane. Simple machines have few or no moving parts. They make work easier. These machines can change the direction or the magnitude of a force. And there are different types. A lever, an inclined plane, wedge, wheel and axle, a pulley and a screw. Let's have a look at all of them. First, the lever. A lever is a rigid bar that pivots or moves on a fixed point called fulcrum. Okay, so in this image, we have here in the middle the pivot point, which is the fulcrum, and on the two sides we have the different forces going up and down. This is one type of lever with the fulcrum in the middle. In this second one the fulcrum is here and we have one force here, the object that we want to take and we will put our fingers around here. So the fulcrum is not in the middle of the two forces, so it is a different type of lever. We can make also this object which is not, is not a simple machine, because we have two things. We have the lever and also the wheel. When we put two simple machines together, the lever and the wheel, we have a complex machine. Now the inclined plane. An inclined plane is a ramp. You use it to move objects from one level to another easily. It is easier to move objects through the ramp than going through the stairs. We can also use these ramps to go with a wheelchair or even to do skateboarding. Let's move on now to the wedge. A wedge is an object with two inclined planes. One and the other, if we put these two together, we have here the wedge and you can use a wedge to cut or split apart an object. This example here, it is just the wedge that we put it on a piece of wood, on a trunk, and we hit it with the hammer to split the wood in two parts. We can also use a wedge on axles or even create a door stopper. Now the wheel and axle. This is the axle. So when we put an axle in the middle of a wheel, like this one, we can use this simple machine to transport objects more efficiently. So here we have the wheel and the wheel with the axle and we can also use this to create complex machines like this one that we have seen before in the video or a bicycle. It has two wheels with the axle 
and many other parts that create a complex machine. Okay, a pulley. Pulley comes from the verb pull and a pulley is made of one or more wheels in axles and a rope or a chain. You use it to lift objects. For example, with these pulleys we can take water out of the well and the lifts or the elevators use this system of many pulleys but much more advanced with mechanical force as well. If we use two or more wheels in the pulley, it will be easier to lift the object than with just one wheel. A screw is an inclined plane that goes around a cylinder. If we see this screw, for example, we can see that this inclined plane goes around and around the cylinder of the screw and we use this to join or hold two objects together. For example, we can have two pieces of wood, one here and the other one here. And if we put the screw together, they will join and hold together. Okay, so simple machines are the lever, remember, something like this, the inclined plane, like this, to go up or down the inclined plane, the wedge, that are two inclined planes put together, the wheel and axle, that is something like this, the pulley, that is a wheel with the axle and a rope that goes around it, and last, the screw, that is an inclined plane that goes around a cylinder. And if we put two or more simple machines together, makes a complex machine. That was all for this video. I hope you like it and see you in the next one. Bye all!